Hey Vikes, I'm Allie and this is your Monday Report. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I caught up with Alex to learn about everything that's going on in the next couple of weeks. Let's check that out. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with Alex to talk about how he can help and some of the things about this continuous learning plan. So take it away. Okay. So a couple things. Again, I want to advertise that um, we have in Google Meets in that um, document that Mr. Schmidt, Mr. Monahan sent out to you with all the Google Hangout addresses in there. Make sure that um, you're using that if you need to if you need to get a hold of us or just come in and chat. We would love to talk to you and see how you're doing. So it doesn't have to be anything important. It can be just like when you come out to my office and hang out. That's you can just do that if you want. Um, so remember that. Remember seniors that counselors are trying to get a hold of you to try to figure out what you want to do with your um, elective classes. If you want to keep going with all of them. If you don't now, like for my part, I've got a hold of quite a few, but I probably got 10 or 15 that haven't given me calls or emails back. Please get a hold of us as we are trying to finalize this. It might lighten your load a little bit, or at least we can um, help you out with some things um, if we can. Um, Ms. Ross said the Sunrise Optimist scholarship will be up soon. And it's going to be a Google form, so it should be easy for you to fill out and just submit. You won't have to mail it in or print it off or anything like that. Just fill it out on Google form, and you'll be entered for that scholarship. And lastly, I do know Mr. Monahan's worked really hard on trying to get a prom date and a graduation date toward the end of summer. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, that will get finalized, and um, those dates will get out. So... We're still going to try to have that, so we haven't forgotten about you seniors. We want to see you one last time, and we want you to have a good end of the summer, hopefully end of COVID-19 prom party. So I um, hope everything's going well for everybody. Make sure you're checking Schoology and doing your classes and keeping your nose to the grindstone. I know it's not that much fun, but we got to finish this year strong. So um, be strong, bikes. Awesome. Thank you. Now back to your announcements. Make sure and look at Schoology every day to stay updated. Now on to the rest of announcements. Prom and graduation are still happening. The dates will be released in the next couple of weeks, but the venues will stay the same. If you want to be a part of the Writing Center, there's an application process on Schoology. If you have any questions, contact Mrs. Sands. Grab and go lunches are also still happening. See Schoology for all the details. Now over to Josh with weather after this quick commercial break. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like go touchdown bowl, man. Like get a strike, my dude, in golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. News team, assemble! It was a windy start to the weekend across the area. We had a wind gust on Saturday of 51 miles per hour at the Billard Airport during the afternoon. Winds stayed a bit breezy on Sunday, but they were much lighter. And now the focus turns to our next rain chance. So here it is by 10 o'clock this evening, moving in from southern Kansas. You can see a pretty widespread area of some light to moderate rain. But notice as you go north, the rain becomes a lot more hit or miss. So we, we are thinking that it is going to be a close call on the rain here in northeast Kansas with the better st chances staying to our south. If we do get the rain, though, we are expecting that it will be gone by sunrise 
tomorrow morning. And speaking of tomorrow, here's a look at your temperature forecast, which shows a cool start to the day with lows in the low to mid 40s. But then we'll rebound quickly and how about highs back in the upper 60s to around 70 tomorrow afternoon. We'll call it another warm day. The cloud coverage will be decreasing throughout the day. So after a mostly cloudy start, we should see plenty of sunshine by the time tomorrow afternoon rolls around. And checking out the seven day forecast, you can see that the warmer air sticks around over the next few days. But we're tracking big changes by the end of this week. On Friday, highs will fall to the upper 40s to around 50. And in addition to that cooler weather, there are some rain chances as well. We're talking about scattered showers from Wednesday night through Friday. It will not be raining that entire time, but at least a chance of some showers during that time period. We start to warm up by next weekend, but in the longer range, you can see that from April 6th through the 12th, we are looking at a likelihood of below average temperatures, which is a change from what we've been seeing, and perhaps remaining above average in the precipitation department. So that's your latest weather forecast. Allie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all I have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.